Today I spared you the lighting. We have Herrera Esteli by Drew Estate. There's the band. I like it when I see this. See how the back side of the band has a bit of coloration to it? That means it's been on the cigar a while and the cigar's had some time to age. This is a mighty long cigar. Um, let's see, I have a can of pop here somewhere. Right there. It's a comparison, right? So it's a fairly long cigar, fairly thin. I believe this is a Lancero, but I don't know. Upon inspection, um, no cracks, no flaws. The draw is pretty nice on it. I did not cold draw this. I probably should have. Oh well. Uh, one thing I've been noticing the more I smoke cigars, I've been finding that a lot of the budget ones, I do end up uh, finding little cracks in them and stuff. And upon further in inspection, I believe the leaves used for the wrappers on the higher end cigars are a little bit thicker and that's why they're not cracking as much. I don't know if it's true, but that's what I believe is happening. This is good. This is really good. I can taste the curing in the tobacco. I can taste the fermentation. I can taste like a little bit of a sweet fruity note, a little bit of a cereal note, kind of leaning into sort of a raisin brand thing. Right away, the first few drags, complex. There's not a lot of uh, overbearing nicotine flavor in here, which makes me think this is gonna make for a good long smoke for me. I won't have to worry too much about uh, the nicotine nausea. I will admit, I've smoked one of these before. I may have even reviewed it on the channel. I don't remember. But in the last few weeks, it has been something of a grind. And uh, I decided today is beach day. So I'm gonna go for a drive to the lake, smoke a nice cigar, and uh, follow my own advice and take it easy. Hopefully the weather holds up. Should, but you never know. It's really sunny, 28 degrees. We're late into summer, and uh, I couldn't be more pleased with the weather. I do fear, though, I'm gonna get a sunburn on my legs because I did not put suntan lotion on. Oh well. So these cigars, I believe, are closer to 20 bucks. Um, I've got a few from the series. I definitely smoked the, I think it was the Stelly Rustica on the channel, and I had to do it in two sessions because it was a really long cigar. Uh, I might end up doing this one in two sessions too. We'll see. It might be a good day for it. You know, do part of my drive, smoke the cigar, let it go out. And then when I get to the lake, find a nice quiet spot with not a lot of people around. Find a comfortable rock to sit on. Maybe a nice tree to lean on and then relight it. We'll see though. I'm not guaranteeing anything. This video I'm going into entirely unprepared. Oh yeah, that's right up my aisle for the uh, flavor profile. You know, we got that cereal note, sort of shreddies, raisin bran, a little bit sweet. I can taste the curing in the tobacco. I can taste the fermenting. Construction is good. The size is nice and narrow. The cigar doesn't feel uh, overwhelming in the hand. You know, it doesn't seem like I gotta work too hard to, to pull the smoke through it. Um, a feeling it's gonna be a pleasurable smoking experience all the way through. I think at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, turn the camera off for a bit, continue on my drive. We'll come back to it later and talk a little bit more about it. And I am at my destination. I did let the cigar go out because I was like, you know what? I kind of want to finish it when I get there. It's a good thing about a little longer cigar, a little bigger cigar. You don't have to smoke it all at once. You can smoke it in a couple different sessions. 
and uh, I'm not sure I'd leave a cigar like in an ashtray or something overnight, come back to it like the next day, but a few minutes like I've done here, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Ooh, that's hot. Well, we're here. And uh, let's go take a look at what there is to see. Oh boy. say 20 minutes to get through the first third of this cigar. I'm sort of in the last two thirds now. Relit it, relit just fine. Had a bit of lunch on the way out. Now I'm here just, uh, you know, enjoying the scenery, enjoying the sound. So relaxing. I could probably do a video where I just set up the camera, point it at the waves, turn the microphone on, walk away. Leave it for 30 minutes. I bet you some folks would enjoy that. Now this is just a little GoPro. So it's not a really high quality image. So you can't really, really see the distance, but there's a bit of a fog over on the lake, rising up a bit. Last time I came down here, I was in this very spot, close to it. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, there was a heavy fog, and there was a fox just rolling up the beach, right near people. It wasn't um, skittish, didn't seem scared, didn't seem sick. Just strolling along, almost like it was domesticated. I doubt it, but uh, it was a, an interesting thing to see. One thing about a little longer cigar is as you get deeper into it, because the smoke goes through the tobacco, it seems to get a lot stronger in flavor, but it, I don't think it gets any stronger in nicotine. I don't know for sure. But this is a fairly long smoke, and I did stop halfway through, well, about a third of the way through. I've lit it up again. Not get any of the nicotine, nausea. Um, like I said earlier, it's a Drew Estate product. If you're familiar with the Drew Estate Underground, if you're familiar with the factory smokes, if you're familiar with even their uh, uh, fire cured cigar, this is kind of a blend of all of that in one. I don't know that they're trying to do that, but in terms of flavor profile, it seems to be getting pretty nicely on, uh, on all those smokes. And the last I checked, my online, online source was in stock. That's unfortunate. Few and far between do I find really, truly, thoroughly pleasurable cigars under like $10 or $12. And there's like a couple out there, you know, factory smokes, other cigars on top of stuff that hits on it. You know, um, I'm finding I gotta be $15 to $20 uh, per cigar in order to get uh, the most out of the cigar experience for myself. That being said, I'm not a frequent smoker, so I don't mind spending a little bit extra. 